everybody welcome back to my channel I'm back today after a short break I wasn't able to upload anything last week um, and uh, I'm here participating in a challenge is the uh, useful challenge for July 2019 this is a monthly challenge that is it's hosted by uh, Mamdas from Mamdas Life Handmade, that's the channel. The adorable mom does. I, <laughs> I never get tired of saying this because she is absolutely adorable. <laughs> um, the, this month she is co hosting with Marie from Marie's DIYs. Um, I will leave the link to their channels and in the description box and also the link to the playlist with all the videos from all those who are participating in this challenge. Both Mamdas and Marie, I've been a subscriber to their channels for a long time and they never cease to surprise me. You can find everything you need to get inspiration from their channels, from their videos. So please pay a visit to their channels and um, enjoy. And thanks to both of them for hosting this challenge. The topic of this month's challenge is recycled glass. So I'm going to do something that I've been planning for a while and um, now, okay, is the time to do what, <coughs> sorry, do what I was thinking of doing. You're going to need one of these candle holders from Dollar Tree. I've already painted it because of course I couldn't paint it on camera. They are transparent and um, I painted it with Rust-Oleum. This is a, one of my favorite colors, flat soft iron. And I also painted, I used these uh, mirrors from Dollar Tree also. And I also painted the mirror with the same paint. Once the paint is dried. I also, sorry, I also painted this candle holder from Dollar Tree. We all DIYers know them. <laughs> and um, and I also painted this. I had all these um, little pots that I was not using. And uh, then I thought, I want to use them here. I had already used the succulents, so I picked up more succulents and I'm going to use them. The, um, if you look closely you can see that the paint is not really good. I painted them with a regular acrylic paint because when I went to paint to spray paint them as I did with the candle holder this candle, candle holder also and the mirror it started raining pouring. So as I needed to finish this project today I decided I was going to paint the mini pots with a white acrylic paint because as you will see later it's, it's not going to be visible. Anyways I can always um, you know correct the mistakes. <laughs> and give them another coat maybe later but I wanted to show you this project today you will also need the rope, the nautical rope from Dollar Tree also a good friend of all us DIYers and um, jute twine this is not from Dollar Tree because I was in a hurry, I couldn't find it at my closest Dollar Tree store, so I bought it, I think, honestly, I don't remember if it was Dollar General, Family Dollar, something like that. But the one that you can get at Dollar Tree is the same thing. And, well, you need a glue gun, scissors, and I think that's it. The first thing I'm going to do is to glue some of this rope around the border, the inside border of this candle holder. So 
and I'm going to put three rows of this row. I used the one that is the second row, so I'm going to undo this row and start all over again. Lately I'm making a lot of mistakes when I'm on camera. <laughs> that doesn't happen when I'm working off camera. That's because I didn't take the time to look for the longest one. So here we go again, replay. <laughs> going to do the same with the mirror. going to adhere this candle holder to the base of my project. You can use E6000, Gorilla Glue, whatever adhesive you have at hand, but for me this works perfectly well instant gratification <laughs> no waiting for the glue to dry here we go and now I'm going to place this on top I didn't remove this, I tried, but it's really hard. I tried with another one and I couldn't. I think it's not going to be seen. Okay. I want to try to center it. As much as, much as possible. This is what I hate from the, the glue gun, but well, it's great anyways. So, I'm 
let me see if it is center well looks like and almost the last step is to glue the little pots to the top. I'm going to place the succulents in the pots. Oh, first of all, you're wondering why I said we are going to use twine. Because what I want to do is to tie it around the pots a couple of times. I think twice is going to be enough. So, I'm going to add a little bit of glue in the back for the twine to stay in place. Just in case you have never seen my videos before, I'm taking this chance to let you know that I have a problem which is called essential tremors. That's why my hands are always shaking. It's nothing serious, it has no cure, many people suffer from this. But that's what's happening. Some people think I may be having some kind of Parkinson's or stuff like that. No, fortunately, it's just something that happens, but it's not life threatening. So here we have. I'm going to cut this. And now, yes, it's time to place the succulents in the pots. I chose this one to add a little bit of color. I'm going to put this here. This is so cute. <laughs> There you have it. And this is my final result, the final result of the project. And um, I think I really like it. I hope you can see it. And um, it's a nice way to recycle some uh, pieces of glass that I had all this stuff around and I was thinking, what can I do with this? And then I thought, okay, I have these pots, I have the the, ooh, the rope. You see, <laughs> it needs E6000 for sure. So I'm going to glue this again with 
the glue gun with hot glue, but then I'm going to use E6000. Instant gratification is not always the best thing. So, let me see. I hope you can see how it looks. And uh, I think it's a, li a nice accent to add to your deco decor. And, uh, I, you know, quick and easy are my favorite, favorite, favorite words. Kind of the magic words for me. <laughs> and this is quick and easy and, most of all, inexpensive. It's like four or five dollars. And uh, maybe a little more. Four dollars in the uh, succulents. Uh, five in the rope. Uh, six, seven, and eight dollars. Eight dollars. That's more or less what I spent. I already had the paint and um, I already had the twine. But let's say ten dollars, no more than that. And uh, really quickly, I, I, as you can see, it took me just a few minutes to, to finish it. Uh, it would have been <laughs> shorter the time if I hadn't made the mistakes I made. Okay, thanks again to both hostesses for hosting this channel, this challenge, sorry. Uh, visit their channels, that's what I was thinking of saying. Uh, and uh, visit please the playlist because there are a lot of people participating in this challenge and all their creations are usually are awesome. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done it already. Ring the bell so you will get a notification whenever I upload a new video, usually on Mondays, except like challenges that you can't choose the day to upload. The hostesses chose the day. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in my next video and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.